When collecting conventional tilled soils or bare ground, collect the surface of the soil. Try to avoid subsoil material. To do this, use a sharpshooter to skim the surface material. Two 5 gallon buckets of soil material are enough to fill one demonstration pan. On occasion you may want to collect a soil while keeping the surface intact. This should be used for undisturbed soil systems, such as pasture lands, range, or forested sites. This method of collection works best with two or three people. To collect this type of pan, use the cutting template that is located inside the trailer. Without removing existing vegetation, place the template on the ground. One person should stand on the template while the other person uses a pitchfork or sharpshooter to begin the process. When using the pitchfork, insert the tool into the ground and rock side to side. This cuts the residue and creates a trench for the template to lower into. When using the sharpshooter, dig a trench along the edge of the template to allow the template to lower onto the sample. The template is designed to fit over the sample and once the sides are cleared, the template will slide down and the sample will fit inside the template. The loose plate and handle should be all the way up, indicating that the sample is settled into the template. Once a trench has been created around the entire template, using the pitchfork or shovel, dislodge the template by digging under it a few inches below. Lift and flip the template onto the empty bucket where the handle will fit inside. Using a handsaw or knife, carve the soil material down to be flush with the bottom of the template. Once the material is flush with the template, rough up the bottom of the soil to ensure infiltration. Before transferring the sample to the demonstration pan, Cut the edge of the soil at an angle to allow the edges to slide inside the demonstration pan. This also removes any debris or roots that may make it difficult for the pan to slide into the pan. Place an empty demonstration pan on the top of the template and flip the template onto the top of the empty pan. Use the handle on the template to tap down the remaining soil material. Using extra soil material, fill the gaps between the edge of the pan and the sample. Be sure to pack down this material so water does not infiltrate through these cracks and cause artificial infiltration. Collect additional residue to place on the edges and other areas of the sample to mimic fill conditions. Residue could also be collected if the demonstration is going to have a management example that requires additional residue cover. Also, some residue may be lost during transport. For conventional tilled soils or bare ground, pour the sample into an empty demonstration pan. Try to evenly distribute the sample into the pan. This ensures any subsoil material will be evenly mixed with the topsoil. Pat the material down to remove any voids in the pan. Break up large clods as you distribute the soil. Although it is inevitable that they will break apart, it will likely take longer for large clods to lead to runoff. Also, remove any litter or debris material from the soil. This acts as a void that will lead to artificial infiltration. To prevent through flow along the lip of the demonstration pan, pack down the edges of the sample. Do this throughout the process of preparing the pan. Continue to pour the contents of the bucket into the demonstration pan. Fill the demonstration pan to a level that is flush with the short edge of the pan and lower than the long edge of the pan. 